Well, parents of students at Desert Oasis High School are speaking out after the principal, Jennifer Bodecker, was replaced. Some say they're not surprised following a rash of incidents. Madison Kimbrough is live this afternoon at the campus. And Madison, I, also, I understand you also spoke briefly to the former principal? Yeah, I called her to just, just see exactly what was going on and if she could talk about the incident. She declined to comment. However, parents here at Desert Oasis, very different story. They were very vocal, making it clear that the blame for what's going on goes much deeper than what they believe the principal was able to handle. On Thursday, Desert Oasis High School parents were alerted by email of a leadership change on campus. In the email, it did not mention Principal Jennifer Bodecker's name, but did say that her role would change hands to that of Mr. Ian Salzman as interim principal until they find a permanent replacement. Mr. Salzman has served as principal and assistant principal within the district for over 15 years. It's still unclear if Principal Bodecker was asked to step down, was removed, or if she decided to leave on her own. But with the recent incidents, the general consensus from students and parents is that more change needs to be done. I just wish we would have had a little bit more notice than one day, maybe a meeting, um, a, a vote. It's a lot to put on a principal. I mean, it comes down to, I think it's, I think it's a two-way street regardless of how you look at it. You know, a principal is the one that's on site that's the face you see, the face you deal with, but, you know, then it's moderation as far as the district and how they handle things in the background. So, I mean, a lot of stuff's in their control, but a lot of stuff's out of their control. Desert Oasis has been placed on two consecutive lockdowns in March regarding a weapon being brought to school and also fights on campus, one of which involved an adult. Parents and teachers have voiced their concerns at school board meetings about safety. While Desert Oasis has had several incidents reported, the entirety of the district has seen an influx of violent behavior with over 53 cases, excuse me, 5,300 cases reported this year alone. And I reached out to the teachers union for a statement, have not heard back yet. Reporting live near Desert Oasis, Madison Kimbrough, live local now.